All right, guys, how are you all doing? I'm PST here, and today we have some very important newses. Firstly, we have Tom's Hardware uh, making this article about the Ryzen 7000 getting a price cut in China up to 27% compared to the US pricing here. And if you look into the pricing here, there it is. Uh, the new Chinese pricing is for the, for the Ryzen 9 1790-950X is 557 USDs. Uh, and the original pricing was 765 USD. Again, this is not exactly in USDs because, you know, Chinese uh, currencies are not USD. But yeah, it hasn't converted. And the US pricing was 699. So yeah, compared to China, it was lower. But now Chinese, Chinese pricing looks much more appealing now compared to US pricing. And the Ryzen 9 7900X going at 459. Ryzen 7 going at 320. And... Ryzen 5 7600X, which is probably the biggest jump, uh, drop here, 236 compared to 3... Actually, no. Ryzen 7 has the biggest drop, 417 to 320. That's quite a big margin. Yeah, quite a bit. So, or maybe not. Maybe this one is more... Okay, I don't know. Like, <laughs> it's going... I mean, the pricing, pricing looks appealing. Yeah, it looks appealing. So... I guess Chinese pricing is, you know, should have been the, you know, the actual MSRP, I guess. I don't know, because, you know, DDR5 is very hard to get right now. Hopefully things will get normal and hopefully these pricing will go, you know, all over the country, all over the, all over the world, not just country. So yeah, we'll see about that. And next up we have a confirmation or you could say, uh, well, a leak maybe. Copilot 7 can be bringing in with this information that the original RTX 4080 12 gigs will become RTX 4070 Ti. I mean, I called it. I even uh, mentioned this that they're gonna make the 4080 12 gigs a 4070 or 4070 Ti. Well, guess what? He's saying that 4070 Ti is more probable. Uh, that's gonna happen, I guess. So, yeah. That is not surprising at all. I know that they're going to do that. We all know they're going to do that. So, yeah, hopefully the pricing won't be that expensive because, yeah, like paying that much for 4070 Ti, I don't think that is uh, worth a shot. Don't think so. And next up we have, well, J2Sense bringing in the unreleased 4090 Ti, uh, 4090, not Ti, but it's for unreleased 4090 from EVGA. Because we all know that EVGA literally, you know, went away from the partnership with NVIDIA. But they already had an EVGA card in their, you know, sleeves. So, there it is. He, he's going to bring in that card right there. It says not 4090, but you know, we're going to see it right now. And there it is. That's the EVGA 4090, basically. Which looks quite good. Not a crazy design again it's a prototype design i believe look it says next gen graphics so obviously it wasn't really you know they didn't plan the partnership to be taken off i mean they did that themselves but yeah basically they they had that something and they're not going to be releasing it anymore because you know what happened we all know the story if you don't know the story then basically uh they decided to walk away from the partnership so that's sad seeing that the card looks nice. I mean, it, it's identical to the previous generation, 3090, right? But we won't be seeing this any anytime soon. Or maybe never. Yeah, maybe never. Because this is a prototype and EVGA is out of the partnership. So that's very sad, I have to say. Next up, we have Kitty Yuko bringing in this information and a leak probably. And that is the RTX 4080 Founders Edition. That's probably the 4080 16 gigs, probably, or maybe 4080 12 gigs, who knows. But that's the PCB layout we have here. And yeah, we, I mean, we all know it's a V-shaped PCB, nothing surprising. So yeah, that's the PCB layout and that's the GPU right there. We have more pictures here and yeah, it looks, I don't know what to say, like <laughs> nothing to really say about it because it looks very usual. But we also have a score here, and that is a Times by Extreme uh, score. That is 14,100 points coming from the RTX 4080. So we have to see the comparison to even tell that if this card performs very well or not. We don't know, but again, we'll see about that. We have a follow-up story, and this is RTX 4080, basically. 
uh, has been tested in Time Spy. And we already had the score, and this is a Time Spy score of, uh, that's a graphic score of 28,599. And we also have the Time Spy Extreme, ex extreme score, we already saw it was 12,100, 12, right? Well, here we're seeing the same kind of score here, 12, 14, oh, wait a minute, no, I, I said 12, it's not 12, it's 14,178, yeah, and it's coming from the user Zedwang, yep, and he's bringing in this information, so it just, some, uh, it just, it does clarify that the previous score and this score uh, are in, quite in line, you know, 14,000, and then whatever comes in, we don't really care, but yeah, it, 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 it it is legit, I guess, because, you know, th those two scores really match approximately, but they do. So, yeah, that's the that's the performance we'll be getting from the RTX 4080, I guess. We also got more score here, and also for RTX 4080, if you look into it right here, RTX GeForce RTX 4080, and this is the Gigbench CUDA score, and it's a 30K 728. Basically, that's a huge number, but yeah, that's the CUDA score. For the RTX 4080, we also got OpenCL score, and it is 248K and 932, of course. I don't know how to spell those, because <laughs> that's a huge number. I mean, 248,932, I guess. But yeah, uh, we also got Vulcan score, and that is 148,838. So that's quite a lot. We don't know uh, how well it performs, because we can't really see the uh, comparison here. And it's not given, so yeah. I mean, we already have the score here. A little bit of Googling might help you figure out how well these performs. But yeah, there, there it is. And lastly, we have Gainward are deciding to replace RTX 4090. Or basically, they are probably the, uh, well, you could say the manufacturers that will be replacing the RTX 4090 power cable adapters. That's coming from a retailer. Before that, we have a... A slight update from video cards here and they have a clarification that if there is incorrect information suggesting uh, Gainward is delaying the RTX 4090 shipment. It's coming from Gainward on Facebook by the way. Uh, so basically they're gonna be uh, replacing the cables but also they want to clarify that they're not holding back any RTX 4090 shipments. They can buy the RTX 4090 Gainward cards, but also they're going to be replacing the NVIDIA's own adapters. They're going to be manufacturing it, I guess. So, yeah. So, they, they're saying that please don't hesitate to grab the Gainward graphics card if you plan to buy one. Because Gainward already have a card, and that comes with an adapter. And that ad adapter is completely fine. The only problem is the NVIDIA's own adapter. Again, we already talked about it. But now... Gainward is, has taken initiative to make those adapters for NVIDIA. So I guess this is a good initiative because Gainward didn't really fail. NVIDIA failed, basically. All right, that's, that is it for today. Some 4080 news, you know, because it was all about 4080. And really sad to see that 4090 EVGA FTW3 won't be coming because, you know, they decided to walk away from the partnership. That's sad, but I guess we don't really have any other choice. Because that's their decision. But that card, EVGA, always the best, I believe. Because they were, they were really good. We're going to miss them, basically. Anyway, have a good day. And of course, like, share, and subscribe. See you later.